Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to apply text effects in Microsoft Word. So if you want to use like Word Art, for example, and make your text a little bit more uh, stylish, perhaps, or make it a little bit more unique, I'm going to show you guys a couple different ways on how to do that. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So there's going to be a setting if you go underneath Home. There's going to be a letter that says A. And if you hover over it, it says text effects and typography. If you select that, you should see different types of text that you can select from, as well as different outlines, shadowing, reflection, that sort of thing. So you can really customize this however you want. And you can customize existing text as well. So if we were to hover over the sample text here, and we were to select the A icon, you could see it again when we had the uh, mini quick access toolbar open. You could access these options as well. Just look for that little A symbol. So anyway, you can go ahead and select a different text style from this list, and then you can, let's make it a little bit bigger here so you can see it more clearly. Just for example here. And let's say we want to make some additional changes. You can go back into A. If you want to add an outline, you can, and you can see it changes in real time over here on the right as we're doing it. You can add a shadow effect as well. You make it reflect, so a reflective surface underneath or to the side of it, perhaps. If you want to have it glow, you can do that. And you can change the glow colors as well on top of that, so you don't have to be limited just by the glow. And the same would be true for most of these options. And here you can customize them even further. And you can also add different stylistic sets. If you want to have a customized set that you might have a custom theme you like, you can go ahead and set that and then save it in here. So pretty straightforward process on that, guys. Do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.